Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly horoscope for Monday the 11th of February going through until Sunday the 17th of February 2019. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Now I'm going to give you a day by day rundown of what the planets are doing up in the sky and how that's going to influence you this week. This forecast is for all signs of the zodiac. I'm looking at what the planets are doing and how they're going to affect all of us okay so share this video if you like it on the internet with your friends with your family i'm going to give you a day by day rundown and the horoscope is based on uk time so just take the time difference into account so last week was kind of difficult and it was a challenging energy this week is really positive and it's a really happy, happy week. So I'm really excited to give you this horoscope because it's always much better delivering good news than bad news. So on Monday the 11th of February, we've got the moon going into Taurus at 1.30 in the morning. Taurus is the bull. It's ruled by Venus, the planet of love and beauty and creativity. So immediately you feel grounded, you feel loved, you feel like things around you should be beautiful. The moon then trines Venus, the ruler of Taurus, and Venus is in Capricorn at the moment, another earth sign. And the Taurus moon also sextiles Neptune, the water planet of dreams and beautiful things. That's in the water sign of Pisces, which allows you to just imagine all of these beautiful things. So on Monday, it's a day for love and beautiful things and daydreaming. You've got, in your mind's eye, you've got space for what things ought to look like and how things could be. You'll be interested in beautiful, wonderful things and you'll likely have fantasies pop into your head ahead of Valentine's Day this week if you're interested in Valentine's Day. So if you're in a couple in a partnership already so you may um, get a really good idea for what to do this Valentine's Day or um, if you're single you could just have a fantasy about Valentine's Day and what would happen um, but also on Monday the 11th I really think that you may receive a present in some shape or form and Throughout the day, you feel cool, calm, and collected. You feel cool as a cucumber here on Monday. So you enter the week really chill and really just seeing the best in everything and how everything could be, and you're relaxed, and you crave beautiful, positive experiences. On Tuesday, the 12th of February, we've got Mars and Aries, Mars is really happy in Aries. Mars is the male principle of drive and desire. What I want, what I love, what I am going to destroy or what I'm going to protect. You know, all of the things that are associated with this wonderful male energy. And it's in Aries, the sign it rules. Aries is the ram. It's about overcoming obstacles and moving forward and being independent and being an ideas person and implementing those ideas and overcoming the resistance to new strategies and all of that stuff. So that's really powerful and it conjuncts Uranus, the planet of electricity and the miraculous and chaos and the unknowable and the eccentric, that's also in Aries. So that's really powerful. That's like willpower squared it's it's a huge kind of energy ball that's that's building here now the taurus moon also trines saturn in and pluto in capricorn saturn is about structure pluto is about changing and um having something die before something new is born so the moon trines those two planets so it's in a harmonious relationship with them so it feels settled, but it also feels like it can make change, changes if it wants. And the Taurus moon squares the sun in Aquarius. Yeah. So there may be friction between what it is you want and what other people want here on Tuesday. Now, 
Mars in Aries and Uranus in Aries, first of all, we have to look at that because they really do make an explosive combo, okay? Taurus is going to keep you grounded on Tuesday, but really be careful of rushing into things without thinking on Tuesday or really letting someone have it because it's like a bomb that can go off. It's really fiery and it's like enough, boom. So think things through, see what long-term effects your actions are going to have and don't do anything that's um, just not planned and impulsive this week. That really applies for the whole of the week. Don't be overly impulsive and kind of try and think things through because Merc Mercury, the communication planet, is in water most of the week and that means you think with your feelings. So logic is bypassed and you're acting on your feelings and we all know that feelings are the result of thoughts and feelings pass, they come and go. So making decisions on those is like making a decision on the way the wind blows. On Wednesday the 13th of February we've got the moon shifting gears and it goes into Gemini at 9.33 in the morning. So Gemini is a sign that's ruled by Mercury, the communication planet. And Gemini is really upbeat and friendly and it likes to communicate and it likes to explore. It's optimistic. It likes people. It's really quick in terms of the way it thinks. It's able to f tell funny s stories at dinner. So you feel much more communicative on Wednesday, from Wednesday onwards. Mars is still conjuncting Aries, so there's still the possibility to boom, you know, to like drop a bomb and then just go. The Gemini moon squares Mercury in Pisces, so there's friction between the moon in a communicative placement with Mercury in Pisces, and the friction is there because Mercury is kind of underwater and is saying blub 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 <laughs> it's like trying to think that way and the gemini moon is really crystal clear and is thinking quite well so there's friction between that because now you realize it's not just about my feelings it's also about logic and what i'm thinking and what i'm communicating and hearing and the gemini moon also quincuxes so it forms a harmonious relationship with Venus, the planet of love and beauty in Capricorn. Venus in Capricorn is very down to earth. She's grounded. She likes to work on her relationships. She likes looking at what the environment looks like. Is she in a beautiful garden? Or is the flat beautifully decorated? And does she feel cozy and at home? It's a really good placement, I think. Now, on Wednesday, there still is the possibility of making rash and impulsive decisions. So thinking won't be that logical. I mentioned the square between Mercury and the Moon. Facts and figures involved aren't going to be important to you. Venus takes over for Mercury in Pisces, so the love planet kind of overpowers the communication planet. And you think with your heart today, again. So if someone proposes marriage or makes some other kind of offer, Think before you leap into this long-term commitment and this long-term relationship. Wednesday is a little bit like Monday. It's like dreaming of these wonderful things that can happen and you feel really cool about it. There are no doubts in your mind and that's the Mars and Uranus energy which just says go for it. Go to Vegas and get married at 3 in the mor morning and find it hilarious and then stumble home and then wake up the next day and go, uh, whoopsie. <laughs> so on, on Tuesday and Wednesday, watch out for that conjunction between Mars and Uranus because it's really going to drive you to do things that otherwise you'd be scared to do and you'd be quite wary of. On Thursday, the 14th of February, we've got Valentine's Day. So, happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate it. Um, I always just think of that episode in Sex and the City where they're sitting with all the balloons and they argue. So, Valentine's Day 
I think is is you have to do something if you're in a couple even though it's like I think it's an invented holiday but even though it's like an invented holiday you have to do something if you're in a relationship that's why on Monday daydream about that you may get some really fab ideas and also you know if you look at it from a positive point of view it's an opportunity to show the one you love that you really care about them and you can do something nice for them like hire a um, hot air balloon and go on a little champagne hot air balloon ride gestures like that really mean a lot to people and it's a it's a day to demonstrate this now the good thing is that on Thursday the 14th Mars the male principle goes into Taurus so Mars the man what I want what I desire is in the most earthy of all the signs Taurus so it's really interested in if there's chemistry between you and another person it's interested in beauty it's interested in sex it's interested in making money and being financially sound and stable so you can make a beautiful environment for yourself the Gemini moon that Queen Cux is Venus and Capricorn so they form a happy relationship so the love planet and the moon that's very communicative they get together and the moon opposes the lucky planet Jupiter which is in Sagittarius and it trines the Sun in Aquarius the Sun is the identity at the moment and it's all about helping other people and being charitable and talking to groups of people so because Mars is in Taurus on Thursday the 14th you have a much more grounded energy and you're more certain of what you love and what you don't love so it's less risky or there's less risk of getting into a relationship that has negative consequences associated with it like Tuesday or Wednesday where you're just acting from this Mars Uranus drive to achieve Mars and Taurus means that you will enjoy financial stability for the next few weeks and that side of your life is going to get better and more stable and that today Thursday the 14th is a much better day to make long-term decisions the alarms go off it's a much better day to take to make long-term decisions on the 14th Friday the 15th we've got the moon going into cancer at four minutes past two in the afternoon Ca the moon rules cancer this is now the placement it's most happy in because the moon now becomes the mother and it's very nurturing of other people it's very psychic it's very intuitive so if you do have readings if you go and have readings with an intuitive astrologer like me or a card reader or you have a psychic in your life or palm reader or someone like that um, if you have readings now is the best time it stays in cancer until Sunday because the moon is the most sensitive part of who we are and when it's in cancer it's easy to tune in and it's it's much easier to pull the veil aside the veil that separates this reality with the other dimensions or the other side or other realities other frequencies which we can tune into the moon trines the Sun in Aquarius so it's halfway through it sextiles Mars in Taurus so positive with the male principle so the mother and the man or the female and the masculine and it's in a it's in the sign of the bull so really you know Mars is really all about sex and um, and being strong and achieving and getting and really making an impression at the moment and it also trines Mercury in Pisces so Friday is the real Valentine's Day if you're looking at it from a romantic kind of angle it especially if you want to make some time to be intimate with your partner with the person you love it's really good for yeah intimacy sparks are going to be flying sex is going to be great um, if you're single 
then there's great creative and spiritual energy floating around in the air so use that energy in a different way and like I said it's a great day to have a personal reading because anyone who's intuitive is going to find that the veil between the world is thinner than usual. On Saturday the 16th of Feb we've got the Cancer Moon trining Mercury in Pisces so both of those are in water the moon very sensitive very intuitive mercury in pisces very spiritual very feeling oriented and again very in tuned with the other realms it also trines neptune the water planet of the intuition and psychic ability and imagination so all three of those are aligned the cancer moon i feel i want to nurture i sense emotions i sense danger i feel the love for you i want to nurture you i want to take care of you um mercury in pisces i think spiritually i want to connect with the higher realms and neptune i am the higher realms i am the muses whispering in your ear i am anything creative or intuitive that you've ever tapped into or if you're if you're an artist I am the the um, the source of all ideas and inspiration. So these three line up. So again, amazing day to get a reading or to be creative, or to play music, or to do some intuitive spiritual work. Now the Cancer Moon opposes Venus, the planet of love in Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn, and Pluto in Capricorn. So those are all in Earth signs. So on Saturday, you'll really want the day off. It's, you're not interested in working. You just want some time to relax and to daydream and to get in touch with this beautiful, loving, watery energy. Maybe to spend with your favorite person or to spend with your favorite people. Um, you don't want to be particularly productive, which is fair enough. We don't need to be productive every day. Sometimes you just need downtime and just to relax. If you have to work on this day, so, you know, if you work over the weekends or you're self-employed, you will be people-oriented and you'll be super kind because of all of that water and you will get into the work. But unless you're pushed... And you have a choice here you're much more likely to make this a personal day rather than a work day so if you do work then realize that you're going to give people the the most loving and nurturing and kind kind of energy and information that's out there because you're in tune with the cancer moon mercury in pisces and neptune in pisces so again for intuitive readers Push yourself to do readings on this day because you'll really be able to, to tap in and in a, in a really loving way and to give loving, positive answers. On Sunday, the 17th of February, the moon goes into Leo at 3.22 in the afternoon. So the moon in Leo is much more fiery, confident, independent, looking towards the future. It squares Mars and Taurus. So there's fire now, friction between the Leo moon. I'm the man. I want to achieve. I'm in the spotlight. I want to perform. I want attention. And friction with Mars and Taurus, which is interesting because Mars and Taurus wants the same. I want, I want uh, sex and money and security and I want to be grounded. And the fact that there's friction between that it's kind of strange so it keeps you kind of down to earth a little bit and it kind of asks you okay if you want to shine or if you want to be in the spotlight how are you going to do it are you going to dance are you going to sing or what is it about you that is going to put you in the limelight that's the question that that square asks the aquarius sun sextiles uranus and aries so the chaotic and the unexpected settles near the sun which is your identity and uranus is still in aries let's break through and the sun in aquarius is let's let's let ideas roam freely and let's help other people and let's be a humanitarian 
So we still have that lovely energy there, but you, you have a lot more fire in your belly now on Sunday. You may want to work today and experience something with others that gives you a thrill or a jolt of excitement. It's really another happy day that you that can be shared with friends and family and loved ones. The only downside on this day work-wise, you won't make that much progress or you won't want to make a lot of progress because you'll want to be off having fun and um, yeah, being with the people you love. So if you're self-employed or you have to work, try and balance your schedule a little bit so that you do have some time for yourself this week and that you're not flat out the entire seven days. Because especially the weekend, especially Sunday here, it really wants you to do something fun and exciting for yourself and to get something that that's just for you. You know, like... Um, being given a present by another person it's a really it's a really like intimate gesture it's a memory that you're creating it's something that is only between you and that other person that you're going to remember forever and there are loads of opportunities this week to kind of be that person who smiles at you or smiles at a stranger or or is kind to someone for no reason or um, gives someone a kiss and then you kind of look at each other and you realize that you don't just want a kiss on the cheek you want more than that um, it's a lovely week and I know Valentine's Day I personally think that it's a constructed holiday but it's as far as the week goes it is super chill you feel really down to earth you're 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 grounded but you're also interested in beautiful things and you're calm and you're kind to people and you're in your heart and there's really no i haven't mentioned anything like arguments or conflicts or um, jealousy or competition or negativity or sabotage i haven't mentioned any of those things so it's a great day to spend with other people. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be romantic and beautiful, but it can be with other people, your family, anybody you love, your, your friends, your, your selected family. So it's, it's a wonderful week to just be you and to be honest and to let go of stress from the past and not to worry about money so much and to trust that money will come again you know that you're not at the end here and it just give yourself a break and allow yourself to just go you know I can relax and I deserve to relax once in a while it's kind of the middle week of February you know most people start 2019 super stressed you know with resolutions and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna hit the gym and it's now a lot of people who started the year this way are now coming down to earth and they're kind of like oh, okay i'm back to who i am i'm comfortable in my own skin and this and this week really just offers you a gift free of charge so accept it with open arms and say thank you universe thank you for giving me all these wonderful things in my life and um look forward to a really great week if you'd like a personal reading with me please get in touch via my website you can click on book the book your reading on the front page or you can click on the readings tab which will take you to the readings page order your reading with me there um, in my personal readings I use astrology tarot and numerology and I combine all three the astrology is the king of the divination systems as far as I'm concerned and it really shows me what your life purpose is why you've come back to planet earth and what you intend to achieve here on a soul level it tells me what you're gifted at vocationally what the future is with your relationship or what's destined for you in love and romance when the soulmate is going to come in if the soulmate's going to come in 
um, I can look at finances and what's happening there if finances are going to improve if the lawsuits going to be settled when the house is going to sell you know really practical things um, that's what I feel I'm good at in terms of doing practical things because I'm a quadruple earth so I use these um, divination systems to analyze the symbols and that opens a doorway to my intuition and then I get messages from the universe which I include in my readings so it's not just straight up tarot or astrology it's intuitive astrology and intuitive tarot so um, I can also look at what's coming up for you in health or what the problem may be I don't have any medical qualifications but I kind of tune in with the astrology and um, intuitively I often get hits and um, yeah I can answer any questions you may have so uh, when's the best time to move where should I move I can use the astro cartography for that to see what spirits different areas of the world have for you because I believe that your, your birth chart is a snapshot of the sky and I look at it from the perspective of earth looking up the astro cartography I position myself in the sky and I look at wh where the planets were transiting over what countries and what areas of the world and what energy those countries have for you and I really believe that like some places you go to and you just feel a certain way and you have no rhyme or reason to it it's because of like for instance if Jupiter goes over a place that you're visiting you're suddenly gonna feel like wow there's infinite potential here I like it I'm feeling the joy I'm optimistic and if it's ruled by Saturn you'd be much more serious and you'd be like okay this I'm gonna watch out here and all of those kind of things so if you would like a reading with me then please get in touch via the website gregoryscott.com um, please share the videos if you like this weekly horoscope check out some of the other uh, videos that I make like the daily tarot readings um, the videos on the new moon and the full moons the monthly horoscopes for each specific sign of the zodiac and um, yeah if you want some more information about what's happening for you specifically your sun sign then check out the monthly horoscope it goes into detail with your house systems and it shows you where this energy is taking place in what area of your life so it may be happening in your fifth house making this super super powerful even more powerful than it is already or it may be happening in your second house so you lean more towards the sign of making money and using the creative loving energy to focus on your income so have a wonderful week whichever way this goes it is a great week to just be comfortable in your skin and to relax i hope you have a wonderful time get in touch with me via the website i hope you have a fabulous week and i will speak to you soon